Howdy y'all, Tom here from Typeset. And in this episode of Just Start Typing, I'm going to be talking about how to create a shopping guide just for men. So say that you're a media brand or an e-commerce brand or something like that. And you wanna create a like Sears catalog style uh, shopping guide for your audience to showcase some products, maybe you have um, some affiliate partners or something like that. However, you want to bring value through uh, a shopping guide. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. In my typeset dashboard, I'm going to come up here to the top right. Instead of clicking new deck, I'm going to go ahead and hit document. Because like I said, I want this to feel like it's one of those old school Sears catalogs. Shopping guides are usually in an ebook type format. So if I hit uh, create document, this is going to orient my pages in a portrait uh, rather than landscape orientation. And it's also going to size some of the text a little bit more consistently uh, instead of it being, you know, just fit on the page like we would in a slide deck where it might be different from page to page. It's going to be a little bit more consistent. All right. <clears throat> Before we get started, let's take a look at our design and style. I have the big text theme selected, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one in there. I think it looks really slick. So I'm gonna give this a title, shopping guide for men, and a subtitle, get him something he'll use italics, actually use. I might do a little dash and right arrow. So it creates an arrow there, so it's kind of like getting the reader to open, open up and read more. All right, so since the remix drawer is already open whenever I get started, I can see that there are like some images, uh, typesets trying to pull in, um, you know, probably based on the keyword man there or men, uh, but I, I, I want to keep this cover page just very plain, very basic. Um, you know, maybe you would like to pull in your, your branding or something like that, um, but I just want to keep this just, just the way it is. Um, however, I do want to turn on pagination. So open up the design and style little blade, come over here to customize and down to where it says page numbering. I'm going to do show page numbers, turn that on. Okay. And then I'm going to close that. All right. Now I see the little one page number show up there at the bottom. Okay. Now back into my editor window, I'm going to hit command enter to create a new slide. <clears throat> And for this first one, I did some product research so I know what I'm gonna include. I have this uh, portable espresso maker. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this main image here and, I, and I'm gonna choose copy address. I'm gonna come over here to typeset and I'm gonna paste that address or right into my editor window. And uh, we'll see that uh, typeset, it's going to pull in the image and just give me the option to either link to the image or to insert the image into uh, my document. And that's what I want to do. All right. So now that I get that there, I'm going to call this portable espresso maker. And I think that it was $54. So I'll, I'll include the price there as well. And I'm going to change this to a title. And uh, I'm going to drag this to be above my image just because I, I like to kind of lay out my content that way. Um, I'm going to create a new elements by hitting enter. I'm going to come back over to this products page. I'm going to grab the URL. So if somebody is reading this, then um, they don't just view this product and like, oh, I think that looks really good, and then go and search for it themselves. I'm going to drop this link uh, right in here, and I can give the text to show the label. I'm going to call it just right in Amazon.com, so it's going to drop me an Amazon.com link uh, for this page. So someone can just click right through, lay in on this product page, and buy it. Um, it cropped my image a little bit, typeset did, uh, which would normally work, but I really want this whole product uh, to show up in this image because it's a very tight image. So I'm going to open up the remix drawer and I'm going to choose a, a remix for this one that, that does not crop the image. It shows the whole thing. So I think that this one looks 
Looks great. Uh, wonderful there. All right, I'm going to uh, hit Command Enter to open up a new slide. And I'll come over to my next product, which is this Sonos speaker. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just copy the URL. I'm going to come back over here to typeset, and I'm going to paste the whole URL into here. All right, so it could create a link, um, or we could create an entire slide just based on this. Well, I'm creating this product guide, so I'm going to go ahead and make a make a slide uh, based on on that. <clears throat> um, oops, I accidentally hit the wrong button there. Um, okay, I cropped my image again, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Open up my remix drawer and. Choose a remix that showcases my whole product. All right, so it has the uh, title from the product, has a link to the page, and it even brought in some text from that page. Uh, in this case, is a summary of what that product is, which is awesome. Uh, so super cool. And uh, let's go ahead and, and create another product page. Another one here, it's this towel set, which looks really nice. So I'm going to do the same thing here and and just drop the URL right into typeset, which, so it's just amazing. Instead of copying and pasting, uh, oops, clicked off of that. Instead of copying and pasting the image, then the name, then the link or whatever, all I have to do is copy the URL and then paste it in typeset. And it's going to bring in all that information that I want. And I might just have to remix it a little bit to find the exact um, way that I want to organize this. And that's it. So much easier than doing this, for, than copying and pasting every single item to bring it in here. Typeset makes it very easy to do that. All right. And this last one, this last sort of product set is I already have a, a portable espresso maker, but what about coffee subscriptions? Okay, that's great. Now, instead of just bringing in my coffee subscriptions, um, what I want to do is actually provide a list of coffee subscriptions, coffee subscriptions to choose from. So I'm going to type in slash logo. And what this is going to do is bring up AI mode so and actually find the logo of a company that I put in here. If it's, um, if you want to be sure that you're getting the right one, make sure to put in the URL of the company you should go for. So first one I selected was Trade. Uh, they are a, I mean, they're a coffee subscription, right? All right, so I have their website um, open here. I'm gonna grab the URL for that one. Again, very easy. Come back over, paste it into Typeset. Instead of creating a slide this time, I'm just going to uh, add that link into there. So now I have Trade, their logo, and I have a link to their website. Okay, I'm going to grab this, uh, these two elements, and I'm gonna use the Group button up here. So Create Group, and then I'm going to uh, duplicate those. So I have three different coffee subscriptions that I want to use. Okay, so uh, now I can kind of see the way that it's going to be laid out. So I can go ahead and and put in the other material that I want to use. So I also want to include Misto Box <clears throat> as my second second option. Come over here to their website, grab the URL, and. Uh, Paste it back in here below the logo. Misto box for some reason it does not uh, pull in their meta title. Um, they might have their website formatted a little bit differently, so I just typed it in just like I did with the Amazon one. And I'm going to do this for one more. Uh, my last one is those others two are coffee subscriptions. They source coffee from. All over the place. Last one is just a single coffee roaster uh, in Austin, Texas. So 
Greater Goods Coffee Company delete that old one. And I'm going to go over to their website as well. I'll grab that URL. Come back to my presentation. Whoops. And drop that URL in here. It's going to fill in the label with the meta title from that page. So the little text that appears like at the top of your browser tab. And that uh, looks great. Okay, so they're all organized in like a very cool way uh, since I created them as a group like this. I instead of me having to, you know, format them on the page or move them around on the page like in other tools that you might have used and like, uh, how do I decide which one goes where? If I wanted to add, let's say like a, a, a fourth one even, um, I, I could do that. It says here too much content, but we could easily make this look amazing. Um, all right, so the last thing that I wanna do is uh, create a new uh, table of contents for this, for this book. Again, I wanna feel like a guide, right? Shopping guide. So I'm gonna enter a new slide right after my cover page, type in slash table of contents. This is one of my, oops. This is one of my favorite things. My favorite new things is our table of contents feature. And I can edit it too, so I can exclude some selected titles, like I don't want to include the title page here too. And so we see that it includes um, the items with titles. I didn't have a coffee subscription uh, title for that page. And, and actually, it's not really going to like that one because it's going to be a little bit too much content on that page. It's already pretty booked for content. So <clears throat> what I want to do is insert a page right beforehand, and I'm going to give this one a title of just copy subscriptions, and then that's it. Let's see, add a little arrow there, right? So it goes on to the next page. And then if I go back up to my table of contents slide, then, oops, and I can see it added that coffee subscriptions without me having to do it. It's just gonna update it in real time as I'm typing. All right, and then these are all clickable. So if somebody, so if you have, you know, uh, 30 different items on here, then, and someone was only interested in a couple, they don't have to scroll through the entire ebook. They could just click on the ones that they're interested in and it would go ahead and jump to that page. Uh, so I love the table of contents feature. I love the grouping features. And I love that I can create a slide just by bringing in the URL. It's so smart that it picks up um, all of this content from uh, the web page that I'm dropping in there. So that's how you make a holiday shopping guide or any time of year shopping guide for men um, and showcasing some, some products by simply grabbing the URL maybe you drop it an image or something else like that. So I hope that this has been very helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next episode of Just Start Typing.